One of the unique aspects of the American AutoWire Classic Update and Universal Wiring Kits is the use of mega fuses in the engine bay. These mega fuses act as both the main circuit protection for the alternator wiring as well as the main circuit protection for the power supply to the fuse panel and interior wiring. The mega fuses are designed to be mounted in the engine compartment, with the power feed wires being routed as close to the battery source as possible. For our wiring kits, we use the battery stud on the starter as the power source feeding the mega fuses. This is the same stud where the positive battery cable, which runs from the battery to the starter solenoid, is attached. The fuse bases lock together, and the bus bar jumper will provide power to both sides of the assembly. The positive battery cable is connected to the starter solenoid, along with a 6-gauge battery wire from the bus bar side of the fuse assembly. For now, the battery should remain disconnected during the kit installation. Use a length of the provided 6-gauge wire to connect the bus bar side of the mega fuse assembly to the battery stud on the starter solenoid. This creates a junction for the mega fuses to be powered by the battery cable feeding the starter. Route another length of the 6-gauge wire from one of the mega fuse studs opposite of the bus bar to the charge output stud on the alternator. The final connection to the mega fuse assembly will be the red battery power wire for the fuse panel we mentioned earlier in the video. This fuse panel feed will connect to the remaining fuse on the mega fuse assembly and is the wire that supplies power to the fuse panel and interior wiring. This wire might run from the firewall bulkhead connector or it might run directly from the fuse panel depending on the kit being installed. Now that you are familiar with the Megafuse assembly, here are some things to consider during installation. The Megafuse is designed to be mounted in the engine bay to ensure a short wire run from the battery stud on the starter solenoid to the Megafuse assembly itself. The Megafuse assembly should never be mounted in the passenger compartment or under the dash. The positive battery cable should never be routed to the Megafuse assembly. It should be routed directly to the starter solenoid battery post. This is the same post on the starter solenoid where the 6-gauge wire from the Megafuse connects. The fuse ratings on the Megafuses have been carefully selected to provide the main circuit protection for the alternator wiring as well as the main circuit protection for the power supply to the fuse panel and interior wiring when installed correctly in the engine bay of the vehicle. No American auto wire kits that feature mega fuses should be installed without running these critical safety devices. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can also stay up to date with American Auto Wire by checking us out on Facebook, Carbuff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.